Okay, in this tutorial, I'm just going to recreate one of these windows and eventually get into the emissions as well. Okay, this is for my uh, grade 10s and my grade 12s. Grade 10s are doing interiors, uh, grade 12s are doing exteriors. Okay, working on exteriors. All right, so let's look at a couple of things here. I'm just going to kind of make a, like a gothic arch. There are many ways to do this, okay? But um, let's, let's try and see what we could do, all right? So I'm going to save this. I'm just going to go with new, and that's my goal anyway. So I'm going to start with a cube as always. I'm going to make sure my edges are on, all right? And I'm just going to just, um, I'm going to scale this by 0.5 and maybe start from here. All right. We have, we have a lot of options. We can work with a cube. We can also work with a cylinder uh, as well. You can use a cylinder to make beautiful archways. Maybe I'll show that one first. Okay, so two methods. Let's see what we could do. So Shift A, and then we'll go to Cylinder, and then down here, I want to make sure that I don't have 32. Maybe I'll go with uh, 12. We'll try 12 and see how that goes. 12, kind of, yeah, not bad. Okay, 12 it is. All right, so here's, this works for a uh, window facing out as well, a rounded window. Okay, so why don't I start with that? Um, God, I have so many things I want to show you guys. Okay, so Tab, get into Edit Mode. And I'm going to go into top view, and I'm going to be in top view here, X, and I'm going to go into x-ray mode, and I'm going to immediately get rid of the bottom half, okay? Now, um, I need I want to go into vertex mode, which is one, and just do this. So you're going to get an archway out of this method, okay? I've done this, and um, I created the same um, tutorial. Why am I deleting these? X vertices, please. Let's go. Oops. Oh, I'm not in fully... I'm not in uh, Superman mode here, which is x-ray mode. All right, so you see, I've got this right here, right? So you see, it kind of looks like a really nice archway, doesn't it? Okay, let me just get you, uh, let's not get too confused here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna rotate it on the, on the x. So R, rotate, x, 90. All right, there you go. So, and I'm gonna scale S on the Y and just kind of bring it in like that. So if this was a, a window frame that was with an arch, this is a nice method, isn't it? Okay. So let's see. Let me get rid of this out of, out of the way here. All right. A couple things. We can extrude this right now. You guys know tap, just like in the chess piece. I'm going to press A for all. I'm going to come in here in the third one, extrude along normals, and watch what this does here. Okay. Let's extrude for a minute. Okay. And look down here. Please don't let go. Offset even Steven. That kept it nice, isn't it? Okay, see that? So that to me is a nice archway. If you want an archway, this is a good method to use. Depending on these faces, it's up to you. Okay, so this would be sweet. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to an x-ray mode and I'm gonna kind of straighten out the bottom edges because they're on an angle, right? Let's see what I could do. I'm going to orthographic, which is Y here. Select this and I wanna scale it on the Z, right? So watch this, S, Z, zero. And it did it, right? See, watch again. I selected all the vertices, four, S for scale, what ax, uh, axis, it's up and down, so it's Z, and I'm gonna press zero, boom. That becomes beautiful. So now I'm gonna go to three, which is faces, right here. Select this face, hold shift, select the other face. And then if I just press E to extrude, and I come down and I have a nice archway for myself. So if we get a uh, x-ray mode, which is uh, God mode, Superman mode, there it is. That looks kind of sweet, right? So this is a nice archway. Tab. So now I'm going to use my um, duplicate command, which is shift D or right click. Watch this. I'm going to call this arch, right? Arch. A royal arch, as a matter of fact. All right. So tab. I know into face, watch this. I'm going to select these faces in here. So I'm going to make a window frame, right? Watch this. Select the inside faces, and I'm going to, I'm going to right-click and press duplicate, but I can go shift these, the same thing. Right-click, let's do this. Duplicate, where are you? Uh, am I losing my mind here? Maybe I am. Well, I'm going to just press shift D. Okay. Tab out. Uh, is everything working? Oh, I had other things selected. Okay, that's cool. All right. I didn't know I had the bottom faces selected, so that's cool. All right, so tab out. This is kind of a disaster right now, right? So what I want to do is I want to separate what I s duplicated, right? This is a little procedural. So tab, let me just get rid of these two faces. X, bye-bye on faces. Okay, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hold option left click here. 
and, I'm, and I've selected the whole loop. You've done this in the chess piece. P for separate, believe it or not. Tab out. Okay, there it is. So I have this piece, right? Now notice that the center is way over there in God's country, right? Wherever that is. I don't know where that is. Right click, set origin to center. Beautiful. Okay. If I go to orthographic view, I can kind of line this up and I say, I think this should be down here, Mr. Bellion. I would talk to myself at times. Here it is. So I'm going to make a window frame. A window frame, and then there's glass, and then there's mullions or these little pieces that are the frame, right? Okay, so check it out. It's right here, right? So now notice something new here. I'm going to show you this bridge command. I'm going to go to edges. I'm going to select this edge, and I'm going to uh, shift. I'm just holding my middle scroll button down, and I'm kind of panning around, orbiting actually. Shift, left click. I have these two selected, right? So I want, I want Blender to bridge the two edges. This app, this works in 3ds Max, Maya. Doesn't matter where, what what app you're using. So you right click, look for something that says bridge. Okay, bridge edge loops, nice. And then stay down here and look for number of cuts. Okay, so watch, one, two, three, something like that, five, whatever, four is good, more than enough. Okay, so I did these cuts. Yeah, see ya. Cool. And now I'm going to select all of this. Okay, I'm going to press A. I'm going to scale it inwards. So I don't want everything to be even, right? You know, I have this thing about offsetting tangents and so on, right? So S, Y, watch this, inwards. So that already is going to be inside it, like a frame, right? Cool. Let's do the extrude one more time. Okay, I love repeating my commands. And then uh, watch this. And I'm going to go inwards or outwards. Nope, I need to go inwards, okay? And what? This is, this is an awesome thing that Blender has. I think I showed it to you just earlier. So you see these are on an angle, right? It's not even, correct? Look at this, offset even. How sweet is that, okay? That is nice. So if I'm gonna go make this thinner, I'll go 0.1 maybe. There you go, done. Tab out, baby, tab out. Okay, so there it is. There's this piece and I'll go put it in here. I'll place it in here. So this becomes my frame, right? All right, so uh, back to orthographic view and why. So I'll make it sit here, something like that, okay? Nice, so now I'm gonna add uh, a frame up here, just below it, okay? Shift A is a cube, of course, mesh cube. There it is, and I'm gonna call this uh, uh, door frame, door off a frame E and um, top. Okay, something like that. S for scale, Z, okay, it's not working, bad. come on. S, Z, let's go, down, 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 down something like that. And I'm gonna spin around and you can see it's massive. So I'll just go to S again, but Y, there. So this becomes my frame, okay? I may take the bottom of the two here, tab, face, where's my face? Press three, uh, I'm gonna come in here. Oh, I'm just gonna bring this a little low. Whoa, why does that look weird? Oh, it looks okay now, like that. So something like this, okay, tab out, we're good. All right, so we have this piece. I'm gonna bring it below the frame, that's nice. And then let's make another one for um, the, the framing of inside the window, right? So again, mesh, um, shift A or add object mesh <laughs> cube. All right, let's scale this S, X, something like that really thin. I'm gonna spin around, S, Y, S, Y, baby, Y, come on. Um, uh, that's why I always think that if you're scaling on the fly like this with a spider web, keep your pointer way out here. So you have more control, more web to play with, okay? Now we'll go S set, okay, and we'll bring it up like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go into orthographic view, and this is the green axis here, green. I'm gonna select on green, and there it is. Zoom in, and then and I can scale this on the Z and make it a little shorter, and then let it sit inside it, okay? So we spin around. That's not bad, I can make it a little thinner, SY, something like that, okay? Back to orthographic, which is a one, three, control, control one, control three. All right, so let's duplicate maybe two more of these, okay? Shift DX, okay, I'll pop that right here. I'm gonna select this one, I'm gonna go shift, I'm gonna do it the other way, the way you guys do it, right click and uh, duplicate object, press X, and then come across. Okay, this is looking a little thick, so, let me go S, I, can you open the door please? Thank you, all right, there, here, S, X, in, like that. I think that's not bad, I'm eyeballing it. I don't want it to be perfect, right? 
All right, I'll do this one too, SX. All right, something like, okay, right in there. Okay, we'll do one horizontal, okay? So again, we're gonna duplicate. Now watch this, I'm gonna duplicate this, but I'm gonna rotate it on the Y axis, this axis here. So Shift D or right click duplicate, R for rotate, and then you have to say what axis, R, Y, 90, oh yeah. There it is. And, and then we'll just, um, we'll scale on X. So S and then X, okay? You're welcome to use the, the scale tool if you like. Okay, so this to me works sweetly. Sweetly, not even a word. This works well. Let's leave it like that. Okay, right here. Maybe S, X again, just a little too much behind. Good. All right. So now I'm going to use that same technique as before. I'm going to duplicate the edge and I'm going to use this and I'm going to fill it. Remember the word F for fill. I mean, F. <laughs> Watch this now, okay? So I'm going to come around in the back here. I'm going to go to tab mode, go to edge. Okay, edge. If I hold option, you know, you guys know I get a loop, right? There's my loop, right? Right click, duplicate. Does that even work here? Where's my duplicate? I don't know where my duplicate is. So let's just go shift D. And then Y, there it is. Look at that. Okay, this is this is its arch, right? See that? So if I press F for fill, how sweet is that? And we're gonna call this window uh, glass. Let's just go glass pane. Okay, and uh, there it is. I have my pieces, don't I? So I'm gonna hang on. Let me just separate this now so I can move it around independently. Um, so I'm gonna go tap. I'm going to press three for face right there. Select the face and P for separate, separate selection. Done. Okay. So tab out. Now, now look at this. This is kind of interesting. This is a really good tutorial for reviewing a lot of commands in Blender. See how the, the, the middle of this, um, the object itself has a, the axes way off itself. So if I right click and hold this down and go to set origin to mass, it goes right on itself. And it's easy for me to select. All right, where are we at here? Yeah, can you guys get the door? Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm about 12 minutes. So I'm gonna pause here for a second. Hopefully this is gonna work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add an emissions for you guys, okay? In a way I'm lighting the material, I'm giving it a color, okay? So let's just, I mean just, I have many color uh, and emission tutorials out there. So the beach ball is your friend when it comes to making uh, materials, okay? So new, and wait for it. There's a delay here. Okay, there, and I'm gonna call this uh, glass underscore emission. Magic word, okay? Instead of going to principal, we're gonna go down here and look for emission right there. Okay, and we're gonna crank, uh, we're gonna come up with a color first, and I want it to be something like a gothic red. There's such a color. I'm gonna just play like 20 here. I have no idea what this is doing. I'm just throwing a number, right? And I go into this zone here, and you see, there it is right there, okay? Now, you, you need to sometimes to come in here and go to camera and add bloom, and there's the glow. Otherwise, you're not gonna see the glow. So again, you go to camera, now printer, camera, bloom. I like adding ambient too, which is sweet right there. Okay, so this is a way to, maybe I'll change my color again. I'll go to the beach ball. Oops, there's my piece. I'm gonna go into purple zone. So let's just see if I could go into something like, maybe, oh, green's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh, we're, we're working on a, gothic horror scene with my grade 12. So I'm going to go with somewhere here. Okay, and I'm going to make it a little darker like that. Okay, something like that, whatever. It's all good. There, this is done. So you are welcome uh, to use this method, okay? And now if I wanted to tab out here for a second and get out of this, stay in this mode. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to now color this wood frame, okay? So I'm going to call this uh, door frame, door effer, and then I'll go top. And I'll just give it a simple color, like brown. I'll go to orange, bring this down a bit, something like that, uh, reddish brown, okay? And then you're saying, I'm not seeing anything by it. You're right, because we're not in the beach ball. See, there's that. And this one uh, will go in here. Now, I have an option right now to change this. I don't know if it's going to work. I have a beach ball under it. There's a couple options. Do you want this to glow? No, I don't. <laughs> Which just looks kind of cool. Uh, do you want it to be a door frame? 
Yes, I do. Okay. All right. So that's an option. Okay. So I'm just going to actually make a new one. And I'm going to call this uh, door frame two. And I'm going to go maybe a little darker or brighter. Door frame two. Okay. You can pick a color here by using the um, eyedropper. Right. I'm going to go a little brighter. Okay. So there's a bit of a touch of a difference. Okay. I don't know. Maybe go darker. Right. So it looks a little different. But now I'm going to run into a problem. I'm going to come over here. And I'm for sure causing issues with everybody right now going, are these the same colors? They look pretty much the same, don't they? Okay, let's just change it. And you see nothing happened, right? Look. Now watch. Tab. A for all. Tab. Edit mode. A for select all. I want the green one, right? Assign. That's going to work. So if you run into a problem and you're saying, I'm not able to change the color even though I, you picked it. So watch now, I'll make another color here just for fun. New frame. Come on, come on, come on. There it is, okay, so let's go dark blue, okay? So dark blue and frame. Let's do it, shall we? So we're gonna go in here, somewhere like that, bring it down, dark blue like that. You're saying nothing's happening. And I'm gonna say, go into edit mode, tap, press A for all and then pick the color you want and then make sure you select a sign. Okay, there we go, and then you tab out. Bingo, this is done. So for this wooden frame here, uh, the window frame, I can come in here and pick any of these colors, it's okay with me. Door frame, boom, done, and I can come in here, select these pieces as well. They're all separate, okay? I, I don't like joining things for, the, for coloring reasons. So I can come down here, I don't think it's gonna let me it's not going to let me do all four together. This is when I need to join. So watch. I'll go door frame. Is that going to work? See, it doesn't work. But the minute I press Command J, and now they're all together. Boom. This is one of the few times I'll join something. Okay? All right. This was uh, a lot of information here, and I went to 17 minutes. I am just really, really hoping that it's not going to crash. I haven't been able to save anything for, for over a week now. All right, so let's go save, and uh, then we'll go grade 10-12 demo what windows. Something like that. Okay, I didn't spell it right, probably. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to shut down here. Thank you, everybody. See you later.